Hi everybody, this is a tutorial on how to make one inch bottle cap images. Uh, I'm using GIMP 2. Uh, you can just download it from the internet. I just googled it and it was a download for it. And I have that opened up. This is what um, opens up as soon as you open up the program. It's a tool toolbar here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we're going to go new and we're going to make the dimension 700 by 500 um, that's the width 700 the height 500 you ready to press ok um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to um, file open and we're going to find our image so wherever you have your image that you want to use you want to go ahead and open up uh, images then you're going to open and it's going to open up in another screen and it's usually behind so you want to click on it behind and kind of scoot it over that okay um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our toolbox and we're going to pick our Eclipse tool. It's a circle and you just want to go ahead and click it. You want to go to your image and you want to circle your image. Um, everything inside the circle is what's going to be on your bottle cap. So you want to make sure you get all of the image. Um, take off the excess on the sides or if you have uh, excess on the top of the bottom you might want to take that off too Okay. next thing you want to do is you want to go to the scale tool it's a little square pointing into a big square I'm going to click on that you're going to click on the middle of your image um, and it's going to say scale and you want to type in 120 enter and then height 120 so it's height and width 120 okay then you want to press scale okay um, and it, it shrinks the image down to size I don't know if you guys can see it but it's there okay um, what you want to do now is you want to click on the move tool it's arrow it kind of looks like a compass um, you want to you want to click on that okay the next thing you want to do is you want to go to edit cut your image out okay um, and what I do from here is I just close my box out because I don't need it anymore. And um, I just close without saving. Um, and it brings you back to your original box where you put the 700 by 500 layout on. And what you're going to do is you're going to press edit, paste, and your image should pop up. Okay. Uh, make sure you have your move tool selected and you're going to move it um, and kind of leave room top and bottom. And then that's basically your bottle cap image. Um, to make another copy of the same one, just go down to edit, paste, and it pastes right on top so you really can't see it. But if you go down to it and move it down, you'll see that you have two images there. You can um, eyeball it, that's what I do. Make sure it all fits. You should be able to fit 15 images on um, a 4x6 layout. Um, so I'm going to do paste again here and paste. It pastes on the last image you move usually. Um, so if you can't see it, that's where it should be. Okay, let's do one more. And that's basically how you do your bottle cap images. Um, I'm going to show you how to add a different image. So it's the same, basically the same process. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to um, File, Open, and you're going to find your second image. Open, and it comes to the back. Bring it up to the front. Okay. You're going to select your Eclipse tool, which is a circle, and you're going to circle your image. Um, this image isn't fitting the wording 
So I'm just going to circle the cat here. Okay, and then we're going to press our scale tool, the little square pointing to the big square, and click in the middle of your image. You're going to make the width 120, enter, and the height 120, enter. Then you're going to press scale, okay, and it shrinks it down. Make sure you click the move tool, which is the little compass looking one. And we're going to um, go to edit. We're going to cut it out. Close this window down. Close without saving. Then we're going to press go to edit, paste. And see it pastes right on top of the last image, which is fine. When you move it like so, your image is still there. So that's basically how you do it. Copy it again. You just go to paste again. Edit, paste. Edit, paste. And um, like I said before, you should be able to fit 15 um, per sheet. Um, it can be kind of tedious when you first um, start out doing it, but once you get it down, you've got it basically. And two, three more of the cats. Paste. Um, kind of made that one close, but it should be okay. Paste. Right, one more. Okay. Paste. Um. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to convert the file. Because um, when I first started doing it, it saved it as a PNG file. Then I want to save it as a JPEG. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. And we're going to go to Export. Okay. Um, and as you see it, where it says Name, it says Untitled. So I'm going to write Halloween. Um, and it says PNG file. I don't want to save it as that. So what we're going to do is go down to the bottom right above the help bar and um, it says select file type. And we're going to click that and we're going to scroll down until we see JPEG, which is here. And then we're going to press export. And um, usually I leave the quality settings and all of this alone and just press export. And basically, that's your image, and you're all done here. Um, do not print it in GIMP; it won't come out the right. Um, it won't come out the right size. So what I do is I go to where it's saved at, which is I believe it is in my documents. And scroll down. Yep, it's here. We we'll click on it. Sorry, my computer is a little slow. And there's our images. So, what you would do is you would go to print. And I'm using Windows 7. So, um, how, would, however, you would view it. Um, on your computer you view it um, and print it from there. Um, and mine is already set to 4 by 6 paper. Um, I print on glossy paper and on the bottom there's a little check mark. It doesn't fit um, the right dimensions if you leave this um, little check mark. It says fit to fit picture to frame. You want to uncheck that and it's going to shrink down some um, and then it'll be your perfect one inch. Um, bottle cap centers. And then you just press print and print. And uh, basically, that's how you make your bottle cap images. Um, thank you for viewing. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, bye.